folks, we are back in Copper Rock. And if you've been following this channel, you know that I'm literally obsessed with this home over here. This was a 2020, 2021, 2020 parade of homes home that I am personally biased and I would, would buy this home in a heartbeat. So what's really cool is Slate Ridge Homes this year presented us with the Eleanor, the home directly behind me. Copper Rock is a golf course community and these homes are in a really beautiful neighborhood. Um, Eleanor is actually also currently offered for sale for $4,999,000. And I will post the link to the MLS listing for this home in the description below. Let's talk about some of the details um, of Eleanor. It is a 6,700 and 3,400 square foot home. Has six bedrooms, seven and a half bathrooms, two stories and has parking for four cars. Although this app has been grossly inaccurate and I feel like it's probably more parking than that, but we'll, we'll check it out in just a second. I feel like I haven't talked about my socks in this video yet. Today we make money moves. <laughs> check out this entryway too. There's so much detail in this home. This entire slider tucks away and you have inside outside living space. What do you think? I think it's super cool. I love all the window light. Yeah, you literally have this perfect indoor outdoor space with the kitchen and a lot of the exterior kitchens don't get used often because they're placed inconveniently, but this one is right across from your real kitchen kitchen. Nice um, chef kitchen, I guess. Uh, more, more than just a butler pantry, has a full appliance set. So it's a second appliance set. More of these floating stairs. Good, how are you? Are you a realtor? I am. Tell me your name. Nick. Nick Rostopchin. Rostopchin. I think we, we did a deal a long time ago, didn't we? I think so. Maybe. It's been years. I'm like, I recognize your name. I recognize it's you. It's tough to forget. <laughs> <laughs> I recognize you too. <laughs> So good to see you. You as well. Which one did you do so far? We've been, which one blew us away? I think house number 28 that everybody talks about. Um, Raya, uh, Wayman. Wayman, it's Wayman's. the massive one. Everyone's telling me number five is like we see five? We did see five. We liked we five. five. No, we did. Oh, yeah, that was yesterday. Was really we did oh, five, yeah. six, and 18. Five was the 10,000 square foot home uh -huh. in Washington. Yeah, that was incredible. Yeah, was was that the one at the theater? It had the theater. I like that one. I feel like, like that's been your favorite number five. Yeah. It had probably the most improvements per per square foot. Like if you compare it, because some of the larger homes, like not to take away from the the Wyman's home, but like it, everything just felt extra premium. That's not the ten thousand square feet. Yeah. yeah. Like you said, it was just finished off a lot better. Than, I haven't been out and about yet to see it, so I'll be doing this. We're just Friday. stuck here. Huh? We're just stuck here. I've been here for the last three days. It's yeah. a beautiful home to be uh, stuck right. in. <laughs> <laughs> Can't complain. Yeah. <laughs> they do a really good job, Slate Ridge Homes. I really love their homes. They're, was it, it was Slate Ridge next door also, right? Or was it different? No, that was two years ago. Uh, and Rod Stewart bought that one. 
but Slate Ridge did last year's just um, on the golf course. The home next door has been my obsession for the last couple of years. Has it? It's for oh. sale. Yeah. It's beautiful. It's been for sale for a while. <laughs> What is like the asking price of that home now? Right. I remember it, it started. It, it was last around I heard, three that million. That was about last three million. Um, he said he's going to sell it. I can't remember if he said four or five. But if he could get the right price, he'll sell it. It's so worth it. It's a beautiful home. Yeah. yeah. Well, it's good to know. There's a lot for sale in this area. Um, and they're renting quite well. Somebody said 45000 uh gross a month. A month? That's incredible. Yeah, I mean, that's, those like are good numbers. Dollars, right? right. Well, and it's great to be able to get your occupancy to to rent it out for that much, too. Yeah. Well, the, the golf helps to have LPGA That's awesome. We have a lot of a lot of clients and a lot of our viewers are interested in Airbnb, so that may be... Yeah. It's, it's a higher than average entry point into that market, but it's nice to have a golf course home that also can pay for itself when you're not using it. And you're renting. I wonder, I wonder if there would be a market to like stick a couple side by sides in the garage and just tack that onto an Airbnb listing. I'm sure some people do. Is that what you do, man based rentals? <laughs> yes, <laughs> among a bunch of other things. Yeah, so I manage their branding presence. So everything from Google reviews, photography, video. I'm yeah. a brand manager. Nice. Shameless plug by Rex. I love Appreciate it. it. <laughs> I love it. So, um, probably because um, there was a, a lender in the garage on that one, and she's like, why is there not a high end luxury um, car rental out here? Yeah. Right? So they come to vacation, they stay next to the golf course, they have these beautiful homes, and they get a, take a spin in a really fun car. You know, it's, a, it's like a or, big well, I, I, I do all the production work for Zion Helicopters which is owned by Five Star Helicopters out of Las Vegas. So I do all of their stuff, and so he's interested in getting landing permits for places like the Hurricane Airport. Like, okay, while well, staying in an Airbnb, get 50% off a helicopter Yeah, why not ride. get a helicopter why wouldn't rental? And then go over to the airport, go for a little ride, and then come back. I think it'd be... One-stop shop, like, vacation, all of this, super I think, yeah. I think if you were to own an Airbnb out here, oh, totally as many partnerships it. like that as you could... Well, if we're, if we're talking super luxury, why not get greeted by a helicopter and then go on a tour, like helicopter tour of Zion, just fly from Copper Rock to Zion. Exactly. It's a short, beautiful flight, and touch back down, and then... I mean, realistically, you can side. see everything all around Zion in about a 20 to 30 minute flight. You're not talking about a long, expensive flight, a couple hundred dollars per person, that's it. I totally agree. We should, be the whole experience, right? we should have a meeting of the minds and make that happen. Seriously? Talk to some local officials. They already have an airport, so I'm sure adding a helicopter pad. I don't know. I, I don't know the first thing about... <laughs> don't, don't quote me on this. I don't know the first thing about the ordinances are actually being able to do it, but it sounds like can be. it's probably as difficult as a zone change. I don't know. Well, it might even be as simple as a flight route. Because For those of you in the industry that are watching this, let us know. Drop us, drop us a comment below and let us know. What does it take to install a helicopter pad? Any, any high-end real estate developers? Anybody, commercial agents? Anybody that dealt with it? I've never dealt with it. Let's touch the builder and have one to build up on the roof yeah. of the home, right? The city shouldn't have too much trouble with it. I'm sure because we have the Hurricane Airport as well as this flying community, that there's some regulations, right? Just like, like so it might be more of a do. more of a pilot question. Right. It probably deals more with flight paths than noise ordinances because I don't think you'd be okay. fighting noise ordinance since there already is an airstrip. Well, whoever can settle that, leave us a comment <laughs> below. At least let us know what you think I because this it. is just us guessing. <laughs> we're, we're, you know, lifestyle experts, right? And that's yeah. part of the lifestyle. We'll figure out the rest. <laughs> Well, Marjorie, thank you so much. It was good to see you. Well, we'll continue to show this beautiful home. Thank you. Let's go this way. Let's travel the path less crowded. Oh, man. I love these accents. This is not like, I guess it's navy blue. Yeah, it yeah. is navy blue. Yeah. It's that beautiful um, flat 
navy that almost looks black type of blue. I don't know if, if, if the color accuracy of the camera and the screen they're reviewing this on, this color looks incredible. If you're considering painting walls in your house and that color, just, just do it. Add a little bit of brown, splash of gray, excellent. Mm -hmm. Take a look at this bath. I absolutely love the floor to ceiling marble on the back wall with some beautiful golden vines and the recessed drain that just kind of disappears. These panel doors just kind of go throughout. So this one happens to be a barn door that tucks away this laundry. I'm sure this is probably not the only laundry room in the house. And the wallpaper is back. Look, we've seen it in so many parade homes. I love the wallpaper accents. And this room is my favorite color again. Except this is more of like a gray flat black, like in the, in the direct sunlight, it looks more gray than it is black. Have you ever seen uh, like bare home, home paint names? It's ridiculous, these colors like agreeable gray, that's really popular. Like how do you depict an agreeable color? That's a good question. Look at this floor tile. It has wood texture, but it's still black and floating vanity lighting is incredible. I'm seriously blown away by all the detail in this home and we've talked about bathroom chandeliers before, check it out. And the chandelier detail matches the shower head almost perfectly. And it's super cool. A lot of these homes are zoned as vacation rentals. In fact, all of Copper Rock community is zoned as vacation rentals. And I would imagine, you know, you go on vacation, maybe it's your second home, maybe you're, you're renting it out and you really want to stay in a nice space. So right out of your master, you can walk out into an indoor outdoor gym because both of these sliders can close in either direction, allowing you access to the pool. So imagine getting your morning workout and like, even on a day like today, like say it's snowing, like it's, it's the middle of February and it's snowing and you feel like you're in any other normal part of the United States without nice warm weather. And Southern Utah snow is more enjoyable because it's gone by noon usually, although it's 12.32, so we're a little bit behind schedule. Somebody needs to hurry up. But regardless of how good or bad the weather is, you have this incredible mountain views, pool, and then you just walk right back into your master. It's super shiny. It's like a shiny wood finish. Well, there's a under cabinet lighting that shines on it, so it makes it extra shiny. Yeah. Have we been in that bath yet? We oh, yeah, we have. Yeah. And we've been in that bedroom? No. No. Feel this is the white room with golden accents on light fixtures, the ceiling fan these door handles. Everything just is kind of neatly tied together like this frame. The interior designer did an incredible job. And I know in the past, um, a lot of homes that are sold in Copper Rock are fully furnished because you could use them as an Airbnb or vacation rental. So really, really, really premium furnishings and finishes in this home. Here we have some gold trimmed subway tile. So white and gold is really the theme of this space. Beautiful floor to ceiling tile work throughout this shower. And that nifty little detail on the wall. What do you think, Rex? I think it's cool. It on a looks scale cool. of aesthetically pleasing, one to 10. Okay, I would give this one a solid eight, but that's personal bias because I like the darker aesthetic. Darker tones. Yeah. So the other, the other wing of the house, the darker wing is your wing. 
Absolutely. Okay. But okay, bye, you guys. <laughs> this is a good comfortable room and it just all ties together. Ah, that's that thing I've noticed so far. Slide under these. I love, love, love the tall ceilings and basically floor to ceiling windows with just a structural support in the middle. That's it, I found my favorite room in this home. Is this not a perfect office? Floor to ceiling windows, glass out front, glass that covers this side of the house. You can still kind of hear what's going on by having an opening right here, like a big open window that opens to the living room. If you have to make some phone calls, get some business done, you still get a decent amount of privacy while keeping an eye on the rest of the house. Chandelier is pretty crazy. No, it's the office. Do you know if it's sold yet? No, it's available for four million nine hundred and ninety-nine thousand currently. Nice. So it can still be yours. <laughs> uh -huh. Look at this sparkly floor tile. It looks like a sparkly, like a metallic finish paint job. I'm obsessed with all the finishes in this house. Wow. This is bathroom. This one is black and gold. More floating stairs. This is the fun wing of the house. This is a pass through bath right here. that takes you into a built-in bunk bedroom. Let's go check it out. How many kids can you sleep in this room? At least six. Yeah. Unless they're small, then maybe 12. Just toss them out there. <laughs> Good use of space though. Stay in Wow, take a look at the shower. I had to know if there was underlighting on the shower. <laughs> it's underlighting under the cabinet, so that's a win. But no underlighting in the in the shower niche. Uh, next time. Like a hangout area, an upstairs hangout. Some incredible views. I don't know if fog is taking a lot of that away right now. You also get a view of the home that I'm obsessed with. Go check out the garage. This is some really cool, really modern, industrious touches to this home. All the lines just flow together between the light fixtures and these windows. Go check out the garage. Okay, so myth disproved about the four, four parking. So if you guys, if any of our viewers are using the Parade of Homes app this year, it gives you some really vague details about parking, but so far there's a three car garage plus one car garage. And right around the corner, of course, it wouldn't be, it wouldn't be modern day Southern Utah if we didn't have an RV garage. It can be a short RV garage or you could 
Probably fit a boat fit. in there. The Supra and electric Mercedes. Let's go check out the Casita. All the black cabinets with black countertops. It looks so good together. The major advantage of having a casita in an Airbnb zone property is that you could rent out the rest of the house if you wanted to and still have a place to come and use in Southern Utah while the rest of the property is paying for itself. More barn doors. Big fan of those. I think they look really good. I love that all the doors are consistent throughout the property. I do too. And they seem to have two color palettes. Yeah. Dark and light, but they're on the same spectrum. I absolutely love it. Look at all the, like literally, this is a dark and a white. This, this shower is like the yin yang. And this wall is tile all the way around, 360 degrees. And as you make around, check this out. There's a stackable in the closet of this casita. So this is really well designed in the sense of having a casita that is a self-sustained, like a one bedroom apartment, where you know if you're using it as a second home, you have a lot of friends, a lot of family you like to entertain, perfect. You have 6,700 square feet of space to do that. But if it's just your second home, you're not using it 90% of the time because you're busy traveling the world or working, or whatever it is that you're doing outside of Southern Utah, well, allow for the home to pay for itself. However, you could leave this area, this casita blocked out 100% of the time because if you're a spare of the moment type traveler and you wanna just come down to Southern Utah and play, well, you always have a place to stay. Out of all of this, all the built ins. Folks, Rex and I both found this home both physically and visually stimulating. Is that a thing? Can you experience both at the same time? I think so. Am I speaking for both of us or no, do you feel the same way? No, we're good. <laughs> physically and visually stimulating. Like everything about it just kind of flows together. And of course, if you're watching this video in time, I will post the MLS listing in the description below this video. Parade of Homes will be over this week, but if you'd like to get a personal tour of this beautiful home, just reach out to me. My phone number is in the description below this video. We can schedule a time for you to come and enjoy this home in private, of course, if you're considering getting into something like that or any other luxury home for that matter. Just feel free to reach out to me anytime because we help people relocate to Southern Utah. So if you're thinking about buying, selling, or investing here, give me a call and I will see you in the next one.